Okay. Oops. I don't know why I had the parentheses there. That's for two right there. And and uh, let's do Y. <clears throat> Cherries. Including text, okay. Looks good so far. Let's see if there's any errors. Any errors? Okay. Uh, answer to. Of course, I forgot. Double. Double, because answer two doesn't exist. Double. Wait, why do I have answer one? That's a good question. Actually, yeah, I see why now. Okay, we're good. Okay. Save. I cannot find the symbol 21. It's total on cast, right? Let's do double total. Let's just declare right here. Double total one. And what else? Uh, S total one. Let's make space between them. Okay, it works. Okay, let's see if it runs good. Uh, excuse me. Let's see if it runs good. Okay, if I have bananas, let's buy cherries also. Uh, yes. Let's buy 10 those. And check out. You purchase 5 bananas and 10 cherries for. Alright, well, this works. Program looks good. Alright, well, now let's do the else statement. Since we got all the else if and if, now let's do the else. Like for the people who doesn't have like anything purchased or anything chosen. So that's why we have to use scanner for this one. I'm going to ask the user the question. So else. I'm ask the user if uh, he's, he wants if if he still wants to purchase or if he wants to cancel. So you did not buy or chose anything. Do you wish, or is say choose one of these options to be better? Choose one of these options. Of course, one through three, or not one to three, one to two. Same thing what we had before. Alright, now we have a byte and make a variable. Let's make a var equals that's the name of the Yeah, that's the name of a uh, method that you post to uh, browse the items that sell the store is selling. And this right here sorry guys, I have my screen here, my screen recorder here. So that's why I did made a new variable and make it user input, and we already got the object declare uh, somewhere up here. yeah over here. All right, so now let's do the else if else if oh we also got to use the try try and catch right here because the user input right here. So let's tab it. Try. It'll be a catch right here. 
exception E. Print line invalid input and it'll go to uh, it'll go to this method again which I believe is check yeah check okay all right let me finish this else if else if var equals two then it will terminate the program. And also I forgot to add options for the user. So let's do this right here. New line, new tab, or not new tab, new line. One, browse products. Make it look better. Browse products. New line, new tab, or not new tab. I keep saying I don't know why. Two, cancel. Exit. I used to exit. Yeah, let's do both. Alright, we'll get this part. Okay. So we're done with this part. All right, let's see if this will run. Oops. I didn't mean to press that one. Okay. Okay, we'll get that working. Let's see. Okay, I got an error here. Unclosed string. Oh, okay, line 182. Oh, yeah. I don't know, left, left out a double quotation mark. I know errors are pretty good. Alright. Alright, so far we have zero bananas or and zero chairs. We do not choose anything. Browse products. Uh, let's buy it. Yes. Let's buy 1,000. Uh, check out. Text. Okay, we're good. All right. Well, this concludes the pro. Yeah, this concludes the project over um, project one for the store menu. So thanks. Yeah, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next one, for my next project or tutorial. Thank you.